Well, hello and welcome. Today we have with us Professor Willis of the Percussion Studio in WVU School of Music. Professor Willis, welcome. Hi, thanks, uh, thanks for having me. So if you could just to kind of start us off here, tell us a little bit about yourself and about your studio. Sure. Um, my name is George Willis. Um, this is my 17th year at WVU um, teaching percussion. I'm the director of the percussion department here. Um, I think we have one of the finest percussion studios um, in the region. A um, couple of things that makes our studio, um, I think, impressive is the variety of music that's available. Um, and what we have matched is the variety of faculty that are available in the percussion area. Um, one of the things that makes percussion so, uh, so interesting um, and fun and, and, and a great study is the fact that we play music in the orchestra and we play in the wind symphony and we do the marching band and we do steel band and we do African drumming and we have a fife and drum ensemble. Um, and of course, our, our participation in the jazz program um, is, is, is involved as well. So it's really an amazing program. Uh, just a little background on myself. Um, I have performance degrees from Carnegie Mellon and Temple University, as well as a little uh, side thing of a, a master's of business administration um, from the University of Pittsburgh. Um, I've done most of, spent most of my career playing in symphony orchestras. So quite a long time with the Pittsburgh Symphony, uh, performances with the Philadelphia Orchestra, and I'm still active in the Wheeling Symphony and in some other organizations in Pittsburgh. So that's where kind of my background and my approach to percussion, it comes from a classical perspective. Um, over the past few years, I have uh, studied extensively um, ancient rudimental snare drum and the music of the fife and drum. So it's been a, a really uh, terrific study here. We have a, a terrific ensemble. Um, that group has played at the Percussive Arts Society International Convention. That group has traveled to Basel, Switzerland um, to do a study abroad trip. So it's, it's really been an exciting um, and personally rewarding um, study on my part and the students really have uh, enjoyed learning the history of percussion and then actively playing historical percussion. So um, that just gives you a little insight into uh, what I've been doing. Um, uh, an important part of our percussion department um, is our faculty. So um, we have Mike Vercelli, Dr. Vercelli leads the World Music Ensemble, um, fabulous colleague of mine who directs the African Ensemble, the Brazilian Ensemble, the Taiko Ensemble, Steel Band, and Gamelon. And those ensembles are offered on a rotating uh, schedule and uh, we encourage all the students to participate in that music. Uh, terrific experience, exposure from music around the world. Um, another one of my colleagues is Professor Brian Wolf, who is our adjunct drum set professor. And Brian is a nationally known um, recording and touring drum set artist, fabulous teacher and musician. And just recently, we've added um, Sergeant Major Mark Riley as, uh, as an adjunct professor here. Mark Riley is one of the heads of the Army Fife and Drum Corps in Washington, DC. And Mark has uh, just started this fall teaching at WVU in the percussion department. Great. Uh, as far as the auditions, uh, I know students have a lot of questions about getting prepped for those auditions. We, of course, have our audition requirements for the percussion studio listed on our audition day web page. As students go to make those selections uh, and as they prepare to, um, uh, to present that to the faculty, what, what advice would you have for them? Right. So um, we're generally looking for at least three requirements in the percussion auditions, and that's snare drum, marimba, and timpani. Now, some of that is going to be based on equipment availability, and timpani can be the sometimes the least available of the instruments. Um, so as you're approaching um, the audition and video um, creation, um, you may want to reach out to either myself or Mr. Frommel and let us know if you're having any issues um, with equipment that is available. Um, 
So those are the three requirements. We also really encourage um, anyone who's auditioning to give us a sample of drum set playing as well. So now to just kind of go over um, what we'd like to hear on the snare drum. The snare drum generally is categorized in concert snare drumming and rudimental snare drumming. And that's how the requirements are listed on the website. So the concert snare drum is generally um, has the buzz or the closed or orchestral role, um, a lot of rhythmic variation and a lot of dynamic um, extremes where the rudimental snare drum would be about the open or the double bounce roll and an interesting mix of the rudiments. So that covers the snare drum. The, uh, the marimba or the xylophone, if you wish, uh, requirements are at least a two mallet solo piece um, and the four mallet uh, piece played on the marimba is optional, but we love to hear both. There will be sight reading asked for on both instruments. Um, it, it's, it's nice to know how well a, a student can prepare music, but it's very important for the faculty to get an understanding of just how well you sight read music because that gives us a little background into uh, your training and your ability to learn new music. Um, when we get to timpani, um, again, if the instruments are available, um, timpani uh, is all about tuning and getting a good sound. So we um, always wanna know that the students can tune the drums. Um, and just a little hint, I think you tune the notes if you can sing the notes. So really work on your vocal production from that standpoint. And um, you can do anywhere from a two to three to four drum solo piece. But again, it's, it's whatever is available. And then finally on the drum set, which isn't a requirement, but we, we, we really strongly encourage you play something on drum set. We're just looking for a couple of different styles. So maybe a, a rock beat, a jazz beat, and a Latin beat. And if you're making a video in that, you can just play each of those beats or grooves for approximately one minute. And you could either transition into the next beat or just simply stop and start the next beat. Great. And anything else the students should know about your program? So um, one of the, the challenges to offering a diverse program is if you're going to try to do it all, you will be very busy and you will be required to play a lot of different styles of music. Um, so it, it's, it's pretty impossible to just be a rudimental drummer here or to just be a marimbist or to just be a drum set artists. Now we do offer programs. Of course, we do have a, a fabulous jazz program that you can focus on the drum set, but there will be a percussion component. You will have to play marimba and timpani throughout that component. Um, you can have some specialties, but it, it's my, my educational philosophy that the best musician is a well-rounded musician. So, and, and generally th this isn't a problem. Once students arrive on campus and they see the plethora of, of, of instruments and ensembles available. You're going to want to play everything, but it's a commitment to um, a lot of practice, a lot of rehearsal time, a lot of performance time, um, but it, it is a challenge to try to do everything uh, in our program. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate you taking the time to talk to us today and um, uh, those students, we look forward to hearing your work. Great, thank you. Look forward to your videos and meeting you soon.